Now it's time to let's speak those who experienced personally the war. I would like to invite Mr. Peter Jasson, president of the Polish Jewish Heritage Foundation, to introduce you to one of the many thousands of to the story of one of the many thousands of Polish Gentile writers. I would like to start on a personal note. Uh, last year I went to Krakow and I visited two righteous Gentiles uh, there, Janina Rościszewska and her brother Lech Rościszewski, who saved a dozen Jewish lives, including that of my uh, father's cousin. We went together to visit the symbolic grave of one Janina Pogan in Zabierzów near Krakow, a young Polish woman, an underground resistance hero, who provided forged documents to my father's family, thanks to which they all survived. Janina Pogan, however, was later captured by Gestapo and died of Dr. Mengele's torturous medical experiments in Auschwitz-Birkenau in 1944. If not for Janina, my father wouldn't have survived the Holocaust, and I, who was born after the war, would not be speaking to you tonight. You are about to see a video recorded just a few days ago, uh, especially for this event, produced by Ellie Rubinstein, and by a group of people who worked day and night, so please read the credits after the video. In this video, you will see a couple of people in Israel who, like me, uh, simply wouldn't exist today if not for their parent being saved by a righteous Gentile, a courageous Polish Christian who did not hesitate for a moment to extend his helping hand to those in need.